Hello, good evening, guys. How are you? How do you feel today? What about your weekend? How was it? Good, so so. Did you enjoy it? Did you go out? What did you do? Mm -hmm. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Good evening, Claudia. How are you? How do you feel? Uh, I feel okay. You feel okay? All yes. right. What about your weekend? How was it? I went to the uh, my nephew's intramuros. I don't know okay. how to say. Um, and I spent time with my family. All right. So did you go to the parade? Uh, the Philly, right? Parade. Parade. Okay. Yeah. I think that yes, right? You, you went. Yes. Yes. Okay, perfect. Um, okay, so I can see that we also have Mauricio, right? We have Maurice, we have Carlos Alberto, we have Nelly, Pablo, Maria, Jorge Antonio, Eduardo, and Emerson. Mm -hmm. Okay. So guys, I hope you have had a great weekend. Okay, so we are going to start with today's class. And in today's class, we are going to have the following um topics that we are going to develop. Okay, so we are going to start with the warm up, then we are going to move to grammar and we are going to start with unit three. Today we're going to cover uh, this lesson, which is focused on a schedule. And uh, we also have a speaking time. We are going to have a lot of speaking time. We have um, listening quizzes, okay? And we have uh, the wrap. -up. So right now what we are going to do is that we are going to start with the warm up and okay. So let's see, let's see if you remember. Can you please mention five clothing items? Five clothing items that you remember. Dress, skirt, hat. Uh -huh. Two more. Um, Socks, pants, Socks. shorts, t-shirts, belt. belt, perfect. Can you mention five nationalities? Mm -hmm. Salvadorian. Okay, Salvadorian, okay. Guatemala, what is mm -hmm. How do you say I don't know. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mexico. Mexico. Okay. Mm -hmm. Brazilian. Okay, yes. Two more. Mm -hmm. nationalities uh -huh. so that is going to be homework okay italian italian very good uh -huh. and north american okay perfect now can you mention five professions five fighters doctor Yes, doctor, firefighter, hand, nurse, nurse, lodger, architect, lodger, architect. One more. Engineer. 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 Yes. Now, can you please tell me five free time activities? Uh huh. Work. Okay. Walking. Work. Mm -hmm. Reading. Okay. Mm -hmm. Riding a bicycle. Okay. All right. Yes. Two more. Swimming. Swimming. Okay. And the last one. 
اخر واحد Which one, Maurice? soccer ball um, playing soccer probably yeah playing soccer. okay soccer okay perfect all right so now let's move and we're going to start by talking about vocabulary related to time okay so let's see let me ask you guys what is the meaning of priority what is it what is priority Letter A. Letter A, your goal and the focus of what you are trying to achieve. That is a priority. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's, let's leave it like that, okay? So let's see if we are not missing letter A later on. What about number two? What is Aim. Aim. Mm -hmm. Now, no idea? Okay, let's move to the next one. What is the meaning of task? Um, letter D. Letter D. And what is letter D? Particular job. That needs yeah. to be done. Correct. So task is a particular job that needs to be done, often one that is difficult. That is a task, right? You have a lot of tasks at work. What about appointment? What is it? What is appointment? Letter H. And what is letter H? A time when you are working to meet, you are going to meet someone to talk about a particular subject. Perfect. Thank you. And what is do? Number five. Do. No idea? Let's move to number six. What is progress? Mm -hmm. No idea? What is effective? Letter E. Okay, progress is letter? E. Perfect. And what is letter E? The process of improving something of getting closer to a to a goal perfect yes that is correct that is progress and what what about effective oh letter g working correct. in the way that you want and doing the job well perfect and what is urgent letter f okay a uh, very important and needs to be looked at very soon. That is correct. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we are still missing number two and five. What is do and what is aim? So we have B and C, right? Number five, maybe letter B. Okay, yes, just to happen. Excellent. Expected, right? Expected to happen or arranged. Okay. And aim. So this one, I don't know, but but I, I I think the number one priority is the letter C. Correct. And what is letter C, George? A situation that is more important than everything else and needs to be focused on yeah. first. Perfect. That is priority, right? So a situation that is more important than everything. 
that is priority. And aim is your goal. Yeah. An aim is a goal. Yeah. An objective. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. So let's see. Do you have any doubts? Any um, question that you may have about this? No? All right. So let's move. Okay, let's move. And let's move to time adjectives. Yeah. As you can see, we have brief, eternal, long-term, temporary, and timeless. Yeah. So what is the meaning of brief? Brief means? Breve. Breve. Excellent. We also have eternal, which means eterno. Yeah. What about long term? What is the meaning of long term? Mm -hmm. Long term means largo plazo. Yeah, a largo plazo. Temporary, temporal. Yeah. And what about timeless? What is the meaning of timeless? Mm -hmm. Eterno. Correct. Eterno. Um, imperecedero. Right? Eterno. Eterno. So, eternal and timeless sometimes can be used as synonyms. Right? Number one. Let's now answer it from one to five. Okay? So, number one. It says, repairing your laptop again is just... Ah, huh? what do you think? Mm -hmm. Temporary. Yes, okay, it is going to be temporary. Mm -hmm. Solution, you really need to buy a new one. Yeah, very good. Number two, the band's music is a space Almost every generation can enjoy it. Mm -hmm. Eternal. Eternal. Okay, let's let that eternal. Okay, what about no. no? No. Okay. No, because the number three is eternal for me. Correct. That is correct. Number three is eternal, okay? Many religions believe in eternal life after death. Yeah? So, number four, scientists are researching space solutions to the problem of global warming. Mm -hmm. Timeless. Timeless. Okay. Timeless. Timeless. All right. And then what about number five? For a space moment, you could see dolphins in the distance. Brief. Okay. So it should be brief, right? Breve. Mm -hmm brief for a brief moment for un momento breve corto yeah you could see dolphins in the distance okay so what about number uh, two the band's music is long term almost every generation can enjoy it Long term. Long term. Okay. In this case, it's a matter of word choice. Okay. Word choice means elección de palabras. Yeah. It's a matter of word choice. So in this case, uh, timeless should go right here. Okay. And 
long term should go on number four. Yeah, long term, as you can see right here. Like this. Even though those are synonyms, we need to choose the best word that suits the idea. Okay. So let's see. Um, Emerson, can you please read number one and two? Yeah, with the complete sentence, with the option already in it, one and two. Then please, um, let me see, Jose, three and four. And Maurice, number five. <clears throat> Go. Number Emerson. one, preparing your laptop again is just a temporary solution. You really need to buy a new one. Mm -hmm. Number two, the band's music is timeless. Also, every generation can enjoy it. Okay, thank you. Many religions believe in eternal life after death. Scientists are searching long-term solution to the problem of global warming. Thank you. For a brief moment, you could see a dolphin, dolphin in the distance. Okay, in the distance, all right. So this one is dolphins, all right? Dolphins. Dolphin. Yes, dolphin. and this one is going to be really. And this one is going to be generation, okay? Generation, okay? Now, let's match, okay? Let's match the synonyms below to the adjectives above, yeah? So, which is a synonym for uh, momentary? What is a synonym from those five? Yeah, what is the synonym? Uh -huh. Synonym, momentary. Okay. Now, what about permanent? What is uh, the synonym? Uh -huh. Eternal. Okay. Eternal for permanent. Yes. All right. And for provisional? Temporary. Temporary? Yeah. Okay. We can say that, yes, I mean, those are synonyms. Okay. What about for everlasting? What is timeless. everlasting? Okay. Timeless. Very good, yes, okay, everlasting, yes. That means para siempre, okay, eterno. And what about enduring? Mm -hmm. yeah. Brief, enduring? Yeah. Uh, but enduring, guys, is perdurable. Long term? Long term? Okay, mm, all right, could be a synonym, but if we say perdurable, es, al, es algo a largo plazo, o perdurable es algo que es eterno. Uh -huh. So in this case, enduring is perdurable. So this is word choice. Es más que todo elección de palabras. Long term es algo que dura a largo plazo. Sin embargo, puede ser que no sea eterno, que no sea algo perdurable. Yeah. So enduring, the best synonym would be, could be timeless or it could be eternal. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so remember, provisional, something that is mm -hmm. temporary brief. or brief, correct. Yeah, those are synonyms, yeah. Mm -hmm. And we also have momentary, yeah. So which could be brief or temporary. Okay. Both are correct. I mean, those are synonyms, yeah synonyms only okay mm -hmm. so now let's move all right we also have idioms idioms related to 
uh, different contexts, all right? So we have number one, two, three, four, five, and six, all right? So what is the meaning, yeah, of think outside the box? Uh -huh. What is the meaning? D. And what is letter D? Look at things from a new perspective. Correct. Is look at things from a new perspective. That is correct. It's not rocket science. What is the meaning of that idiom? Letter B. It's and what is to understand? Perfect. Thank you. So it's not difficult to understand. In other words. It means easy. What about number three? Let's touch base. Letter F, take things to the next level. Okay. Um, not exactly. But let's continue, right? So number four, swallow the frog. What is that idiom? Swallow the frog. Mm -hmm. Swallow the frog. Mm -hmm. Later? Mm -hmm. not, not exactly. Swallow the frog means do the most unpleasant task first. The things that you don't like doing. Let's swallow the frog. Mm -hmm. That means that you are going to start doing something that you okay. don't like. Yeah. Yes. Now, let's touch base. It is let's keep in contact. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, number five. Push the needle. Let's push, push let the needle. Let it F. Correct. Take things to the next level. Push. Yeah. So take things to the next level. Mm -hmm. And number six, shoot the puppy. Letter E. Yes, letter E. Make a brutal decision. That is correct. Shoot the puppy. Take a really serious decision. Correct. Okay. Very good. Now let's move and let's start with prepositions. Okay. Let's see and let's recall previous knowledge about prepositions. So the first thing that we need to do is that we are, we are going to add in or at here, okay? So let's see, number one. Oh, yes, number one. Let's see, we will meet at, 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 at. okay, perfect. Um, give me one second, okay, because yeah. So at, what about number two? I'm going to the movies. In the evening. In the evening. Perfect. Number three. It gets colder. At sunset. sunset. At sunset. And what about number four? I like to walk around the city. At night. At night. At night, very good. And what about number five? Oh, I will be at work early. In the morning. In the morning, perfect. What about number six? They have lunch. Hey, at, at noon. Excellent. At noon. And what about number seven? In the afternoon. In, in the afternoon. Perfect. 
late in the afternoon. And number eight, my mother gets up. At sunrise. At sunrise. 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 Perfect. What is the meaning of sunrise? Amanecer. Amanecer. And sunset? Atardecer. Excellent. Okay. Atardecer. Very good. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now, let's see. Uh, do you have any question about this? Well, I think that this is clear, right? I think that it's not that difficult. What about this? All right. So let's fill with the missing preposition. Okay. So we have number one. What time do you usually get up? On weekends. On weekends. Okay, perfect. So that is going to be on. What about number two? At noon. Mm -hmm. You always eat lunch at noon. Perfect. Okay. What about number three? Is your birthday on June? If no, when is your birthday? Okay. It is going to be in on. or on? Okay. On. All right. Mm, okay. What about number four? Um. On, okay, for days of the week, on, excellent. What about number five? Do you ever work late? At. Excellent. Six. Mm -hmm. On. On, okay. What about number seven? Do you ever get up? On sunrise. On sunrise? Okay. And what about number eight? When was the last time you got up? At. At. Okay. So let's see, guys. Teacher. Okay. Yes. The number three uh, in? Perfect. Why? Because when we use on is for a specific date, for example, uh, June first, something like that. And right. if you so only use the mm -hmm. the month you use in. Excellent. Very good. Yes. Okay. Thank you very much, Kenya. So in this case, guys, as Kenya mentioned before, number three is your birthday in June, why is in June and no on June? So Kenya mentioned that whenever we use in, we are just mentioning the month. And when we use on, we are using the month and the specific date. So whenever you use just the month, you say the month is in, yeah, for example, when is your birthday, Mauricio? Please. Yes. When is your birthday? My birthday is uh, uh, March 22. Okay. Is, and which is the preposition that goes right there? My birthday is uh, 22 March. Is okay. So my birthday is on on um, March twenty second. On March twenty yeah. second. So you see, you are being specific. So that's what we mean when we say that you need to use 
the month and the specific date whenever you use on, okay? So let me see, which is the other one that is incorrect? Mm. Okay, number six, is that correct or incorrect? Any idea? So winter is how do we call winter, spring, uh, autumn, season. season, seasons? Do we use on, in, or at with seasons? In. Excellent. We use in always, right? In winter, in spring in autumn, yeah. So in number seven, is it on, in, or at? Because remember that we did those, right? And now we have the same one. Do you remember which one did you add here previously? It's the same. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. It is going to be at. at. Okay. Yes. Very good. Okay. So now that we have completed this, uh, number one and two, please read the whole sentence or question, uh, Carla. Number three and four, uh, please. Uh, let me see. Uh, Tatiana, number three and four, Juan Jose, five and six. And please, with seven and eight, help us, um, Wendy, Wendy Maricela. Okay. Prepositions. While in a missing preposition, number one, what time do you usually get up on the weekends? Number two, do you always eat lunch at noon. Number th three, is your birthday in June? If no, when is your birthday? Birth birthday, yes. Four. Four, do you ever go to meeting on Saturday? On Saturdays, okay. Saturdays. Number five. Number five. Do you ever work late at night? Mm -hmm. Number six. Do you ever go skying in winter? Okay. Seven and eight. Do you ever go skying in winter? And do you ever get up up sunrise? Sunrise. Eight. Okay, number eight. When was the last time you got, you got up at 10 p.m.? 10 a.m. I am. Okay, thank you. All right, guys, pronunciation, okay? Pronunciation. In this case, this one is going to be usually. You, usually, okay? Usually. And this one is going to be skin, skin, yeah, skin. Very good, all right, very good. So now let's move. Any question about this? Any doubt? No? Oh, and this one, okay, fill in, fill in. And what is the meaning of fill in, fill in? This is a phrasal verb. What is fill in? Llenar. Completar. Completar, llenar, rellenar. Okay, very good. All right, guys. I'm going to take the attendance. Okay, so please say present once you hear your name. Okay, say present. Um, all right, so let me see. Um, okay, Carlos Alberto Castro. 
Carlos, thank you. Carlos Vladimir Rodríguez. Present teacher. Thank you. Claudia María Guerrero. Present. Thank you. Daisy Elizabeth Recinos. Present teacher. Thank you. Eduardo Franco Núñez. Present teacher. Thank you. Emerson Ulises Monroy. Present miss. Thank you. Jorge Antonio Sánchez. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Bernardo López. Present teacher. Thank you, Jose. Juan Jose Herrera. Present teacher. Thank you, Juan. Karen Janet. Karen. Carla Sofía Argueta. Yeah, so far. Present. Thank you. Right. Kenya Elizabeth Rodriguez. Present teacher. Thank you, Kenya. Uh, Marianne Scarlett Rodriguez. Marian. Marina Jensi Sandoval. Present. Thank you, Marina. Mauricio Antonio. Present teacher. Thank you. Nelly Lilibeth Andrade. Present. Norma Patricia. Norma. Pablo Adalberto. Present. Tatiana Ivón. Present, Miss. Thank you. Wendy Maricela. Wendy. Present, teacher. All right. And Jonathan Roberto. Jonathan? No? Okay. Let's continue, guys. And right now we are going to move and we are going to move to speaking. All right? First of all, we are going to start with those three questions. Yeah? So the first one is, what is your daily schedule like at work? Who is in charge of organizing staff schedules in your company? And how many hours per week do you typically, okay, this one is not typically, all right? This one is typically, yeah? So you remove this A when you pronounce it, typically. So how many hours per week do you typically spend working? Do you think this is above or below average? What is the meaning of above or below average? Por encima o debajo del promedio. Exactly. Okay. Very good. And why? Yeah. Why? And then we are going to come back because we are going to start with the book. All right. We are going to practice for about probably three to four minutes, and then we're going to come back. Be prepared because I'm going to ask you those questions, all right? If you cannot participate in the speaking time, please stay in the main room, okay? The ones that can participate, please go and open the class as well, all right? So let me create the breakout room so you can go. And, okay. Hello. Hi, teacher. Uh... Yes. Uh, no. Okay. Ya pude entrar. Okay.
en plan, data my, my, my lunch is uh, one hour and twelve uh, okay. uh, one p.m. and finish my work day at uh, forty forty five. Four forty-five. Four forty-five. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, Juan, Juanjo, who is in charge of the organizing uh, staff schedule in your company? Okay. In some areas or department, are uh, is in charge a uh, human resource, mm -hmm. but another department. Um, for example, in, in my department, my boss and I, we schedule, we schedule, uh, we organizing our schedule uh, because we attend some client to another country. Then we have to, how do you say, acomodar o acoplar? Um o adaptar. Yes, so we need to adapt. Okay, we need to adapt our schedule to the client, mm -hmm. to other country, in other country. Okay. Uh, for me, uh, 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 in my company, Human resource is in charge here or the world. Mm -hmm. uh, when I need have uh, have a work over time, mm -hmm. my person. Uh, Especifica como. Uh, o determina. Okay, Yo sé so que determina. I, uh -huh. I, I determine. I determine. Uh -huh. uh, when. How many hours work. Eh, la siguiente. Next. How many hours per week do you typically spend working? Mm -hmm. Do you think this is above or below average? Why? Mm -hmm. I think is between the average because we work per week around 40 or 44 hours. Oh. Only this? Yes. Okay, for me, okay. I, I have a work um, a 44 hour in the week. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I work uh, overtime Saturday, eight hour. Yes. Only. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now observations, right? Observations. Um, the first one is pronunciation of areas. Areas. Area. Average. Average. Um, no, uh, look at the, at, the, at the chat, okay? So the first word is areas. 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 Like that, okay? So areas, or it could be oh. uh, the, yes. Mm -hmm. Areas, okay? Areas, okay. Excellent. Then human resources. Human resources. Human resources. That's the name of the department, human, human resources. resources. 
yeah? Then, uh, instead of saying we organizing, no, we organize. We organize. Organize. We organize mm -hmm. the schedule, okay? This we one that, that is very important. We attend clients from other countries, okay? No two, okay. right? Okay. Yeah. So from, from other countries. De, from from other countries, the other países, right? Then uh how can you say like eh, organizar um probably eh, adaptar, okay? You can say arrange. arrange. You arrange the, the schedule, uh -huh. right? You arrange. arrange yeah, the schedule. The schedule. Uh -huh. Okay. Organizar, ordenar. And then uh especificar, I specify. Yeah, specify. I specify the working hours specify. or the, the schedule that I'm going to have today. Yeah, yes. Okay, very okay. good, guys. Let's go back to the main room, okay? Let's go Thank back. Thank you, teacher. Thank okay. you. Perfect. All right, so George, can you please let us know what is your daily schedule like at work? Well, um, I start my work at 7 a.m. Mm -hmm. Then I and check my email and uh, check the, the production plan with mm -hmm. my supervisors. Perfect. And at nine or ten a.m., uh, we have a meeting okay. for to check the results. And I take my lunch at twelve, uh, twelve or twelve thirty. Okay. And then uh, in the afternoon, well, I uh, turn around in the the all areas, okay. uh, check the result with the supervisors, uh -huh. and meeting other people if is necessary, and I leave to my home at five p.m. All right. Okay. You go back home at five. Yeah. Okay, perfect. All right, excellent. So who is in charge of organizing staff schedules in your company, Emerson? Usually who organizes the meeting is my boss. Your boss. He, uh -huh. he has a responsibility to do it. All right, he has, all right? He has. Perfect. Okay, what about in your company, Jose? Who is in charge? Uh, in my company, the supervisor is in charge of organizing the schedules. The schedules, all right. And in your company, Claudia? Uh, we all have the same schedule. So if you have work to do, it depends on you. If you uh, finish the day work at five. Perfect, okay. So in this case, um, a schedules. A schedule. A schedules, okay, perfect. Um, so how many hours per week do you typically spend working, Nelly? Um, I'm working from Monday to Friday, um, eight hours per day. Perfect. So, and what about you, Eduardo? How many hours per week do you typically spend working? I work in five days a week. Okay. Perfect. So five days during the week. All right. Very good. Then let's move, guys. Okay, now we are going to start with our role play. So please, Ruben, okay, be uh, Jose, please be Ruben, and uh, Nelly, be Jenny, okay? 
Okay. Okay, let's check your schedule for today, Jenny. All right. You have to start covering for Gladys as the host hostess today from 9 to 11 a.m. Then you can go to lunch. You have to be back at 1 p.m. so that you can serve for the rest of the afternoon until 6 p.m. Will do, Ruben. Thanks for the reminder. Very good. All right. Now, guys, what is the meaning of hostess? What is the meaning of hostess? Receptionist. A receptionist? All right. Yes. All right. Could be. Mm -hmm. All right, so it could be also anfitriona, yeah? But it also, uh, it is also receptions, okay? That is a good synonym. Okay, so now let's move to building vocabulary, yeah? What we need to do is that we need to match the names of the staff members to the right description. We are going to start with number one, executive chef. Yeah, executive chef. What is the definition? Who does this? Of creating menus, many kitchen staff and food standard. And the second. The second one. Okay, very good. That is correct. So it is going to be number one. Is going to be this one. Okay. What about? A server. A waiter or waiters who attends customer with food and drink. Perfect. So number two is going to be here. What about number three? Host or hostess. A person who greets, who greets arriving guests, welcomes them into the restaurant and seats them. Correct. Okay. So a person who greets. Yeah, arriving guests welcomes them into the restaurant and sits them. Perfect. So that is going to be number three. What about number four? Kitchen manager. A person who hires a staff, purchases food, and makes sure that everyone is trained. Is trained. Okay. Training. Training. Yes. Okay. What about number uh, five? Cashier. The person handling payments in a restaurant. Perfect. Okay. Excellent. So we have different definitions. Okay. Right here. Hmm? Now let's move and let's move to more vocabulary. Monitoring personnel. Right. So Let's draw a line from the word to its correct definition. Okay, so we have the first one, which is work schedule. Okay, so can you please help us reading what is work schedule, eh, Wendy? Is Wendy there? Okay, so Tatiana, can you please help us reading work schedule? Tatiana is not there. Okay, so let me see. Um, Carla. Hi, teacher. Excuse me. Okay. Uh, can you please help us reading the definition of work schedule? This part. Okay. A chart that presents a list of employees the the days of the week and times of the day they are required required to Re work. Okay, thank you. Okay. So this word required. Yeah, required. 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 Perfect. Thank Required. you. 
So guys, what is the meaning of break? What is break? I smart feel of time when a person can stop working to eat. Or, or rest. rest. Perfect. What is shift? <laughs> The time of the day when a person works. Perfect, okay. What is overtime? When you work more than the regular working hours in a day or week. Perfect, excellent. And what about what is the meaning of call in? Mm -hmm. What is call in? To telephone your workplace to let them know that you're going to be ab absent or late. Perfect, okay. So call in is to telephone, yeah, to call your workplace to let them know that you are going to be absent. What is the meaning of absent? Ausente or late. How do you say incapacidad? Uh, medical I said, leave. Yes, perfect. Okay. So medical leave. Mm -hmm. Incapacidad. Medical leave. Right. So when you are absent, it's because you have medical leave, right? Most of the time. Okay, perfect. All right, guys. Now is your turn, okay? You are going to look at the schedule, all right? And you are going to answer the questions, okay? The questions below. We have five questions in teams, all right? Whenever you finish with this, take a screenshot and send your work to the WhatsApp group, okay? I'm going to be waiting for your picture with this first activity. Yeah, and the names of your classmates. Okay, once you uh, are done with this, I need to move to this one. Yeah, we are going to work with the schedules. Yeah, so you are going to first start with this. Once you are done, move to this one. The same thing. You have eight questions that you need to answer. Yeah, same thing. Once you are done, take a screenshot and you send it to the WhatsApp group, yeah? Then we are going to come back because we still need uh, to cover something else, okay? So, but right now we are going to work with those two activities about a scheduling, right? So let's see, uh, let me create the breakout rooms. Well, I'm going to leave it like that, okay? Uh, okay, so I have... You see, um, I see Norma, I see Marina. Okay. Hello? Yes. Oh, say so you came back? Okay. No. I'm going to move you, okay? Okay. And let's see. Okay. There you go. Jose. Why is Jose alone? Jose. Um, are you alone, Jose? No, Norma uh, has get in right now. I don't know. Oh, Norma, are you there? I think that, that she's kind of busy. Uh, I, my word is... Uh, okay. Okay. Thank you. 
Um, let me move you, Jose. Uh, okay. Sure. Okay, let me see. Um, okay. Let me move you, Norma, okay? Give me one second, Norma. Okay. Germany. Yes. Okay, when is this washer day off? Mm. Wednesdays. Um. Yes, Wednesday. Thomas. The, um, is the, the day of, the Thomas day of is Wednesday. Okay. Este, yo creo que en la primera es Laura. Is, no es Is Laura. Ah, sí, porque no es una, uh -huh. no es una exploración. No es. Is watching. El otro bartender. Y el otro está en Laura. Laura is kitchen manager. Okay. When is the this what what's your day off? Teacher, pronunciation yes. the this mm -hmm. dish watch washer dish washers dish washer yes. Yes. Why does it actually uh? I see that the picture really, I don't know, blurry, right? Se mira bien rara la, 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 la imagen. La pantalla. Es que sí. Ninguna está trabajando en la computadora. Ah, le tomaron captura. Ajá, captura le tomamos. Mm. But, ok. Le, le voy a mandar otra foto, tal vez se mira mejor, ok. Ok, ok. Sí, porque así se mira demasiado como así blurry. Okay. Mm -hmm. Miren si se mira mejor en esta. Quiero ver aquí. Luego esta. Sí, se ve mejor. Ajá, ok. Mejor, sí. Traté de compartir esa, la que le mandé. Quiero ver si se mira mejor aquí en la sí. pantalla. Ah, ok. Ok. Laura Jocotes. So, so. Uh, sí, pero se, ok, well, no, está, ok, let me see. Sí, pero, who is in charge of purchasing from food? Ok, pero pueden trabajar así, porque tienen que tomarle una, una screenshot, una, una captura cuando ya terminen las cinco preguntas, ok? Entonces hágalo en su cuaderno, ponga las cinco preguntas en su cuaderno y responda. Ajá. Ok. Vale. Para que no les cueste, pero apóyense entre ustedes, ¿ok? Good from. Ok. okay thank you, sir. Yeah. Thank you. Stay. Stay. Right.
When is Carlos on training? What is his schedule on Friday? Carlos is in tra training through September 5. Carlos is in training. Mm -hmm. The schedule on Friday is schedule Friday is from from eight a.m. to six p.m. Is uh -huh. it's from it's from yes from before ten. I think the first maybe is Carlos training is on Monday on Tuesday perdón Carlos Carlos, Carlos training is on Tuesday Carlos with um apostrophe Carlos, Carlos training is on Tuesday. Sería entonces Carlos, sería el apóstrofe antes de la yes, E. Yeah. And he has one hour for lunch. For lunch. Ah, porque se me está laqueando. And we have to do sort of schedule too, right? That is correct. Okay. Once you are done with this one, with the first one, just take a screenshot and send it to the WhatsApp group. And then you continue with Sarah's schedule. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Okay. Ay, ay, ay. ay, Dios santo, no se ve bien. No. The other one. Is. Is. Tengo otra. Ah, no, no, no. Espera, esa es solo una captura, le tomé. ¿Y la que le pasé? Ah, se me pasó una, otra. Sí. De ese. De ese mismo. Ajá. Ajá. Ah, aquí está. No le he bajado, no le he bajado. Ah, ok. Ahorita. Uh -huh. Bye. Ish, ish. Ahí sí. Ok. What is Sarah going to do Saturday morning? Yeah. Sunday mo morning, no, perdón. Yeah. Sunday morning. Monday. She going to visit your grandmother. What is Sarah's plan for Monday morning? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Monday morning. Visit grandmother? No. See the doctor. Monday. See the doctor. Uh, How many times is Sarah going to go to the gym next week? How many times next week? Yeah. Well, 
number two. Two. Number two. Number two. Is in the morning. You see how many times are are going to go to the gym next week? ¿Cuántas veces irá Sara al gimnasio la próxima semana? Sara. Go to the gym. Ah, aquí está más veces. Go to the gym. Go to the gym. Go to Wednesday. Wednesday. Three, three, three days. Go to the gym. One, two, yeah. Three, Tuesday. Three days. Three days. What is Sarah going to the? What is Sarah going to do on Saturday evening? Evening. Ever, evening. <laughs> okay, wow. evening. Yeah. Evening. Yeah. Evening. Yeah. evening. Yeah. Hear me. Yeah. Sarah, yeah. have a party. Do in Sunday evening. Uh, it's Sunday have or a Saturday? Party. Saturday. Saturday. Have a party. Saturday. Have a party. I have a party. Sarah have a party. Yes. Okay. Sarah has. Has. Pardon. Has. Has. Sarah has. Sarah has. Yes. Yeah. Who is Sarah yes, yes. going to see a movie? Which? Who is Sarah going? Movie with. Oh, um, no tenemos que ver el movie. Movie. Movie with Sally. Movie with Sally, yeah. Sarah. On, 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 oh. on Monday. No, on Monday. On Monday. Yes. Okay. Vamos por la cuatro, por, por favor. Uy, ah. Sara con... With Sally. With Sally. Mm -hmm. What is... What is Sara going to do on Friday Saturday. evening? Friday evening. Ajá, uh ajá. -huh, uh -huh. Vamos a ver. ¿qué Friday va a evening. Evening. Eh... Yeah. Uh, Sarah have a dinner yeah. with the parents. Ha, Sarah has dinner, uh, dinner, with, uh, dinner with white parents. 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 Very good. Uh -huh. uh, uh, what is Sarah what is going, to going to do on Saturday before her party? Mm -hmm. Entonces, el sábado. El día de la fiesta. Ah, Saturday to have a party. Ajá. Ok. ¿El otro? Um, what is Sara going to do on Thursday? Saturday afternoon. before the party. Thursday. Mm -hmm. Go to the gym. Mm -hmm. Okay, what is uh, what is Sarah going to buy for the next week? What is Sarah going to buy for the next week? What is Sarah going to buy for the next week? Sarah going to buy for the next week? Next week. Bye. Bye, bye, bye. 
buy uh, buy groceries for the week this buy food también Sara dice buy food for party no no Sara buy and Sara buy groceries for the week grocery Grocery. Uh-huh. Yeah. In Monday. Okay. On Monday. Monday. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. On Mo Monday. Monday. <laughs> <laughs> Moby what's oh, white Monday. Sally. Uh-huh. Grocery. Yeah. Y, eh, también on Friday, Friday, buy a Food for party. I buy food for pa party. Food for party. Sara buy okay. grocery for the weekend. Uh -huh. Buy Friday. food for party. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. Teacher, uh, next page or not? No. Eh, recuerda que va a mandar una foto al grupo de WhatsApp cuando ya termine. Okay. Oh. Okay. Aquí acabamos de subir a la isla. Okay. You see?
Okay, guys. So let's continue, okay? So let me ask you, who is in charge of purchasing food from Tuesday to Fridays? Who? Who is in charge? Laura. Laura, okay. Now, um, what about, guys, when is the dishwasher's day off? When is a dishwasher's day off? Mm -hmm. Wednesday, September 5th. Okay, on Wednesday, September 5th. All right. Now, um, September 5th or 6th? In this case, it's going to be September 6th. Six. Okay, so what about number three, guys? How long is Thomas break? How long? His break during 30 minutes. Yes. All right. So it lasts uh, 30 minutes. Number four, what is Sophia's job in the restaurant? And when is her vacation? Mm -hmm. What is Sophia's job in the restaurant? She is a bartender. She is a bartender. And when is her vacation? Her vacation is on Friday, September 8th, and Wednesday, September 9th. Oh, okay. So it is Friday, September 8th, and Saturday, September 9th. Okay. Very good. And the last one, when is Carlos on training, guys? When is Carlos on training? Mm -hmm. Carlos training is on Tuesday. On Tuesday. And what is his schedule on Fridays? His schedule is from 8 uh, 8 o'clock a.m. to 6 o'clock p.m. Okay. And he has one hour break. Okay. So now, um, just an observation one. Whenever we have the time like this, which is o'clock, it's not necessary for us to say o'clock. You can say okay. from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Okay. That's it. All right. Very okay. good. So now let's move to this one. What is Sarah's plan for Monday morning, guys? What is Sarah's plan for Monday morning? Her now, plan. Okay, Carla, yes. Her plan is to see the doctor for Monday morning. Okay. All right. Very good. What about how many times, all right? How many times is Sarah going to go to the gym next week, Nelly? <laughs> um, how many times is Sarah going to the gym? Um, she is going to the gym three times and to the next week. Okay, three times. Very good. Now, uh, Maurice. What is Sarah going to do on Saturday evening? Uh, Sarah go to Saturday have a party. Okay, Sarah has a party, okay? Have, all right. Sarah have a party. Has, has a party. Has, has, has. Yes, all right. Yeah. Uh, Tatiana, what is Sarah going to do on Friday evening? Oh, no, I, I actually, let me see. No, who is Sarah going to see a movie with, number four? 
Tatiana. No? Okay. Wendy, what about number a four? Who is Sarah going to see a movie with? No? Okay. So, Emerson, what about you? Number four, who is Sarah going to see a movie with? Sarah going to with Sally. With Sally. Okay. Eh, Juan Jose. Um uh, well Juan, what is Sarah going to do on Friday evening? Number five. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What is Sarah going to do on Friday evening? She is going to have a dinner with parents. Okay, very good. Um, what is Sarah going to do on Saturday before her party, Carla? Perdón, me voy a dar mute. Okay. Before her party, uh, she is going to cook and prepare for party. Okay. So, okay, yes, she is going to cook and prepare for the party. Okay. Um, number seven, what is Sarah going to do on Thursday afternoon, Jose? Um, she's going to attend a conference. Perfect. And the last one, uh, Carla, what is Sarah going to buy for the next week? Mm, she's going to buy groceries for the week. Okay. Perfect. All right, guys, let's move and let's move to the following, okay? So we're going to start studying this type of comparison. As you remember, we already covered comparative adjectives. We did that um, on the first class, right? So we can also compare things that are equal, yeah? So in this case, we use us plus us, yeah? So we use as plus adjective plus as to make comparisons when the things we are comparing are equal in some way. Mm -hmm. So in this case, we have four examples. Yeah, we have the first one, which is Oscar is as old as I am. Yeah, so we are saying Oscar is tan mayor como yo. That means that we are in the same age. Yeah, tenemos la misma edad. Yeah, that's why we say Oscar is as old as I am. Bruno is as playful as Rex. Yeah, so Bruno is tan juguetón como Rex. The boots are as large as the shoes. So, las botas son tan grandes como los zapatos. Yeah. Lucia is as beautiful as Monica. Lucia es tan bonita como Monica. Equal in some way. Mm -hmm. So, and we are comparing. Comparing two things that are equal in some way. Yeah. 
All right, do you have any question? If not, create one example, create one example and send your example to the chat, to here, to Zoom. Create one example. Maybe my computer is a fast like yours. Oh, but in this case, my computer is as fast as yours. yours. Uh -huh. right. Carla is as studious as I am. Perfect. Mario is as, as good as Jeff. Carlos is as tall as Juan. Okay. Yes, okay. Those are correct. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay. Um, Ashley is as bored as Maria. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Pedro is as old as Julio. Okay. As. Uh, uh, Julio. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. Yes. My sister is as happy as my brother. Perfect. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. My car is as new as the neighbors. Okay. Pedro is as old as we. Okay, perfect. All right. So then we also have this one, okay, which is comparison with not as plus as. This one is whenever we make a comparison between things that are not equal. Okay. So we can say, as you may see, those are the same examples, right? So Oscar is not as old as I am. So Oscar no es tan mayor como yo. Yeah. Bruno is not as playful as Rex. So Bruno no es tan juguetón como Rex. Yeah. The boots are not as large as the shoes. And then Lucia is not as beautiful as Monica. Yeah. So you see, this one is the opposite in negative. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This was positive. This is negative. Comparison. Yeah. You can use this structure as well to compare things that are equal in some way or things that are not equal. Yeah. So now create one sentence using this structure in negative. Okay, let me see. My house is as big as my neighbors. Okay, my neighbors. Apostrophe S. Do you have questions? Yes, um, it is not, uh, se puede ser contractado aquí también. Like for example, Oscar isn't as old as I am. Yes, you can use contractions. 
Okay. Okay. Let me see. My dog is not as old as your as yours. Okay. My English is not as good as yours. Okay. Yours with the S. Lutheran is not. Oh, yes. Marlon is not disciplined as one, okay? My books are not as old as yours, okay? Okay, very good, guys. Julia is not as intelligent as Sarah. Yes, Maurice, the only observation is that intelligent with double L, okay? Those oh, L. Okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, guys. Now let's move and let's go to the listening quizzes, all right? So we have two. Today we have two quizzes. Let me see. Uh, your motorcycle is not... Okay, it's not as new as mine. Okay, mine. So let's see. Um, okay, let's take the first listening practice. Okay, let me send the link. So this one is the, the link, all right? And the passcode is the same one, listen, capital letters. Okay, that one is the first one. Let me know once you are in so I can um, share the sound, okay? Share the audio. Let's see. This one. Let me Okay, you ready? Yeah. Yes? Yes. Okay, so here we go, guys. I'm going to play it um, three times, okay? Three, three times. So you can have uh, a better understanding, okay? So let's see. My name's Randall Davis, and I'm originally from the state of Indiana in the United States. When I was 19 years old, I moved to Venezuela in South America and later returned to the United States where I attended Brigham Young University in the 1980s. I majored in Spanish education and TESOL, or teaching English as a second language. After graduating from college, my wife and I moved to Japan where we lived for eight years. Now I work back in the States in Utah. 
However, my greatest interests are my family. Years ago, I wanted to make something of myself and my profession. You know, get ahead in life. However, I realized that the most important things in life lived within the walls of my own home, and today I try to put them first. My kids wouldn't remember me for the work I did outside of the home. They would only recall the moments we spent together. Therefore, I enjoy spending time with my family. I have four children, and we go hiking and camping together, usually in Utah. On our hikes, we often talk about life, and I tell stories or share personal experiences. When I do this, I can focus on the kids without the distractions of video games or the internet. Telling stories sounds easy, but when you have to think of a new story on a hot 12-kilometer hike through the desert, you have to come up with ideas off the top of your head. Now, this doesn't mean we don't have problems. All families face challenges in their lives, and our family is no exception. However, we try to talk openly about our problems, and we try to solve our problems together. Building a strong family takes time, but it's worth the effort. Okay. Next time, okay? The second time. My name's Randall Davis, and I'm originally from the state of Indiana in the United States. When I was 19 years old, I moved to Venezuela in South America and later returned to the United States, where I attended Brigham Young University in the 1980s. I majored in Spanish education and TESOL, or teaching English as a second language. After graduating from college, my wife and I moved to Japan, where we lived for eight years. Now I work back in the States in Utah. However, my greatest interests are my family. Years ago, I wanted to make something of myself and my profession. You know, get ahead in life. However, I realized that the most important things in life lived within the walls of my own home, and today I try to put them first. My kids wouldn't remember me for the work I did outside of the home. They would only recall the moments we spent together. Therefore, I enjoy spending time with my family. I have four children, and we go hiking and camping together, usually in Utah. On our hikes, we often talk about life, and I tell stories or share personal experiences. When I do this, I can focus on the kids without the distractions of video games or the Internet. Telling stories sounds easy, but when you have to think of a new story on a hot 12-kilometer hike through the desert, you have to come up with ideas off the top of your head. Now, this doesn't mean we don't have problems. All families face challenges in their lives, and our family is no exception. However, we try to talk openly about our problems, and we try to solve our problems together. Building a strong family takes time, but it's worth the effort. Okay, ready? Or do you need me to play it one more time? One more time. Please. One more time. Okay, here we go. My name's Randall Davis, and I'm originally from the state of Indiana in the United States. When I was 19 years old, I moved to Venezuela in South America and later returned to the United States, where I attended Brigham Young University in the 1980s. I majored in Spanish education and TESOL, or teaching English as a second language. After graduating from college, my wife and I moved to Japan, where we lived for eight years. Now I work back in the States in Utah. However, my greatest interests are my family. Years ago, I wanted to make something of myself and my profession. You know, get ahead in life. However, I realized that the most important things in life lived within the walls of my own home, and today I try to put them first. My kids wouldn't remember me for the work I did outside of the home. They would only recall the moments we spent together. Therefore, I enjoy spending time with my family. I have four children, and we go hiking and camping together, usually in Utah. On our hikes, we often talk about life, and I tell stories or share personal experiences. When I do this, I can focus on the kids without the distractions of video games or the Internet. Telling stories sounds easy, 
But when you have to think of a new story on a hot 12-kilometer hike through the desert, you have to come up with ideas off the top of your head. Now, this doesn't mean we don't have problems. All families face challenges in their lives, and our family is no exception. However, we try to talk openly about our problems, and we try to solve our problems together. Building a strong family takes time, but it's worth the effort. Okay, now, yes, submit your answers, okay? Let me see. Okay. All right. So now let's take the second one, okay? Let's take the second one. Let me send the link. This is the link and the passcode is the same, guys. Listening, okay? Listening. Yeah. Okay. Same thing. I'm going to share this um, recording three times, okay? Ready? Yes, miss. Okay, here we go. Okay, Mr. Taylor, let's go ahead and begin. First of all, tell me about your last job. Well, as I stated on my resume, I worked for five years at High Tech Computers. Okay, High Tech. And what do you know about computer networks and operating systems, including DOS, Windows, Macintosh OS, and Unix? Hmm, well, I did come in contact with computers every night at my last job. Hmm, and how about website authoring skills? We're looking for someone to create and manage our company's website, which would include the development, mm -hmm. configuration, and use of CGI scripts. Hmm. Uh, web page, web page. Uh, I don't think I've read that book, and I'm afraid I've never used those CGI things. Huh. And what about experience with Java or JavaScript? Well, I think I've tried Java at a foreign coffee shop one time, if that's what you mean. Huh. Okay, Mr. Taylor. I think I have all the information I need. Oh, and I really like computer games. I play them every day. Right, right. Thanks, Mr. Taylor. We'll be in touch. Okay. The second time. Okay, Mr. Taylor. Let's go ahead and begin. First of all, tell me about your last job. Well, as I stated on my resume, I worked for five years at High Tech Computers. Okay, High Tech. And what do you know about computer networks and operating systems, including DOS, Windows, Macintosh OS, and Unix? Hmm, well, I did come in contact with computers every night at my last job. Hmm, and how about website authoring skills? We're looking for someone to create and manage our company's website, which would include the development, mm -hmm. configuration, and use of CGI scripts. Hmm. Uh, web page, web page. Uh, I don't think I've read that book, and I'm afraid I've never used those CGI things. Huh. And what about experience with Java or JavaScript? Well, I think I've tried Java at a foreign coffee shop one time, if that's what you mean. Huh. Okay, Mr. Taylor. I think I have all the information I need. Oh, and I really like computer games. I play them every day. Right, right. Thanks, Mr. Taylor. We'll be in touch. Okay. The last time, okay? Okay, Mr. Taylor. Let's go ahead and begin. First of all, tell me about your last job. Well, as I stated on my resume, I worked for five years at High Tech Computers. Okay, High Tech. And what do you know about computer networks and operating systems, including DOS, Windows, 
Macintosh OS, and Unix? Hmm, well, I did come in contact with computers every night at my last job. Hmm, and how about website authoring skills? We're looking for someone to create and manage our company's website, which would include the development, mm -hmm. configuration, and use of CGI scripts. Hmm, uh, web page, web page, uh, I don't think I've read that book, and I'm afraid I've never used those CGI things. Huh. And what about experience with Java or JavaScript? Well, I think I've tried Java at a foreign coffee shop one time, if that's what you mean. Huh. Okay, Mr. Taylor. I think I have all the information I need. Oh, and I really like computer games. I play them every day. Right, right. Thanks, Mr. Taylor. We'll be in touch. Okay. All right, guys. So let me see your answers. Okay. All right. So let me see. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think that this was kind of a uh, difficult problem, right? Um, all right, so let's continue, let's continue, and let's move to uh, the last activity that we have, right? So, guys, uh, we have a speaking time, but we are going to cover also vocabulary. So what do you think picture number one is? What is picture number one, guys? From those um, six words that we have right here, which is number one? Apps. Apps. Very good. What about this one? How do we call this? This is called. How do we call this? Like color coding. Color, color coding. Correct. What is this? Number three. To do list. To do list. To do list. Mm. Okay. Mm. Well, could be, right? But this one um, is going to be, guys, the diary. Okay? Diary. Yeah? What about number four? What do you think? Schedule. Schedule. Very good. Number five? Calendar. And the last one? <clears throat> To-do list. To-do list. Mm -hmm. Right? Very good. Excellent. So now, let me ask you, what are your usual priorities during your working day what are your priorities at the workplace let's see juan jose what are your usual priorities during during your working day my usually priorities during my working day is uh, schedule some meetings okay. and check two reports and after check, check mm -hmm. uh, send to other department. Perfect. All right. So uh, what about you, Carla? What action do you take when something urgent but unexpected happens at the work? What do you do in that situation? Mm. <laughs> if um if a urgent is easy, I do, but okay, it's I can't do it. Uh, I talk to client, okay, and okay. explain uh for and explain. The inconvenience. Uh -huh. Inconvenience. <laughs> Perfect. All right. Very good. So how do you measure the progress you are making with a project? Uh, Juan, how do you measure the progress you are making with a project? Do you have any type of um, tool that you use to measure the progress? Yes. Or how? <laughs> Yes, we have a tools 
uh, in, in some program, it's called SAP. Okay. There is a module and we have a um, KPI to check some progress in some projects, in, sure. in some um, program too. Okay, excellent. All right. What about you, Emerson? How do you measure the progress you are making with a project? In my case, the measure of projects do it directly because they have a much production for for delivers. Okay, to deliver. Okay. To delivers. Yes. Okay. yes. Okay, so you do it daily, all right. Okay, all right. And you, Nelly, how do you measure the progress you are making with a project? With a list. With a list, okay. Yeah, you don't have any specific tool, no? Just with a list, all right. Okay, all right. Um, what about you, Carla? Do you have any specific tool where you can measure the progress you are making with a project? Mm, something I use the threshold, up threshold, or okay. and do a list. <laughs> okay, yeah, okay. Uh, what about you, Jose? Um, I do a list too. Okay. All right, with a list. Okay, and you, Kenya? I don't have any specific tools, but we only work with a um, weekly schedule. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, guys. Now, let me ask you, money is more important than love. True or false? Money is more important than love, true or false? Mm -hmm. Yes. For you? Carla, for you, money is more important than love? in the life yes <laughs> okay yes right okay what about for you nelly money is more important than love true or false yes maybe <laughs> okay maybe what about for you uh juan money is more important than love i think in some case but the love is important too between family and relatives and if right now you need to choose one money or love um i don't know it depends <laughs> but, but you don't have time one you need to choose right now money or love uh, money <laughs> <laughs> okay all right so well tomorrow we're going to uh, talk about this all right but right now just because of the time we're going to stop right here guys thank you very much for connecting today and being responsible please do not forget to work on the platform okay so the only person that please stay with me is nelly then the other ones you may go ahead and rest okay thank you guys i'll see you back tomorrow okay bye bye, bye guys good night, bye. Bye. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye. Yes, bye, teacher. bye guys bye bye, bye Okay, all right, perfect. Okay, so let's see. Nelly, how do you feel today? How are you? I'm fine. You're fine? Okay, perfect. So you know, Nelly, this space is for us to have the feedback, right? Because we would like to know how have you felt uh, during this module, right? So far, I would like to have your feedback. I would like to see your point of view, right? I would like you to tell me about your background in the English language. If you have studied English before, right? Um, 
or if this is the first time that you are studying English with us, right? With English Corporativo, or if you have studied the previous modules from uh, beginner one, right? That's the first thing that I would like to know if is this, is this the first time that you are studying with us or have you studied before with English Corporativo? Yes, um, I am studying uh, basic level one. Okay. Mm -hmm. For now. Uh -huh. Yes, for now. All right. So from basic, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So in previous that, have you studied English before? Um, just in in the high school and the university. And I took a, a some course that the it's it it didn't like me. <laughs> I didn't like it. I didn't like it. I didn't like it. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. So now, how about our classes, right? Uh, the classes that we have had during this module, right? Intermediate one. I would like to know your feedback. What do you think about the activities that we make, right? The the quizzes that you take the speaking time that you actually have with your classmates. What do you think about that? Mm, I really enjoy the class, actually. Um, uh, the class are very interesting and um, I can talk with another partners and know about her, their life. Mm -hmm. and, uh, um, have a, a friendship with them. Yes, of course, yeah. right? Okay, excellent. So, um, okay, have you had any inconvenience with the platform, with the exercises on the platform? Um, yes, I have a, a, in one exercise, but I didn't remember why, what, when. No me acuerdo cuál. Which I don't remember, huh? Um, one. Okay. But I look it. I, I'm looking now. Okay. Yes. You know, sometimes we have uh, inconveniences with uh, some exercises in the platform. But what I want you to do is that whenever you encounter these type of things, please send uh, those type of um, issues to the WhatsApp group, right? So we can be able to check what's going on and we can probably fix it, right? Because mm -hmm. we need to report that. So whenever you find a mistake or something, please report that to the WhatsApp group, okay? Okay, it's okay. I, I will share... Uh... No, I can't. Uh, it's um, number four, this. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. 2.11. All right. Uh, it, it's an uh, instruction for the word in the correct order to make sentence, sentences and questions. Okay. Is a number five. Is it to let the manager better eat wouldn't and be in the site in question mark. So I have wouldn't it be better to let the manager decide? Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. it's incorrect. And I try and breathe it. Um, I'm trying the different the different ways. Yes, so we need to fix that one, but we already reported that, okay? So yes, most, well, all of you got that problem, okay? All of you. So we are going to fix it and I'll let you know once we have fixed it, right? But okay, so which do you think is the most complicated area in the English language for you to develop, right? Which is the most difficult part? For me, um, at the different at the different times, and speak in um, in in past. <laughs> past. Okay. All right. So, well, and what are you doing to improve that? 
uh, I'm trying to learn uh, different words and yeah. the grammar. Okay. All right. So, you know, I think that, um, yes, that's the best way to, to learn because you are studying verbs and verbs are really important whenever you want to um, speak in past. You need to be able to make the proper pronunciation, right? You need to be able to choose the correct verb, etc. So in this case, um, what I can recommend you is that try to, for example, right now that you are going to bed, you can say, okay, what did I do today? Okay, so in the morning, I went to work, then I created this, then I sent this, then talk to this and then I ate this and you start telling yourself what you did during the day so uh then you are going to see that it is going to be easier for you to speak in past right but you need to actually do that right to exercise your brain yeah now uh, do you have any question about any topic that we have covered so far that you haven't understood I don't know. Um, yeah, but uh, maybe um, the comparative that uh, are easier, more interesting, and la. And the superlative, I think, the most. Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, okay. Very good. So you know what? Tomorrow we are going to cover superlatives, right? Uh, mm -hmm. But yes, there is a there is a difference, and tomorrow we are going to make a review on the comparative and the superlatives, right? So you will see that tomorrow we are going to answer those questions that you may have. But right now, um, when it comes to the comparatives, right? Um, the comparatives are the ER, more, right? And we use than. And with the superlatives, mm, we use EST, easiest, right? And we use the most, and we do not use than. But tomorrow we are going to cover that part so you can understand this better, okay? Mm -hmm. So now, um, okay, Nelly, my feedback for you is the following. You know, I have noticed that you participate Whenever you can, you participate, right? And I really like that you have a good attitude, okay? Whenever I ask you, you always answer with a positive attitude, right? I'm motivated and, and, and all of that. And, but first, I would like to know, what is your motivation to learn English? Why are you learning the language? Um, I want uh, a better opportunity. <laughs> okay. Uh, a job, a job opportunity. And I want to... Uh, move with another to another country to another country yes. okay yes I think that uh, if your main purpose is that actually you are going to achieve it right so I have noticed that that you are able to uh, speak in public right and you don't feel afraid of doing it so what I would like you to do is to participate even more right because just in that way is how you are going to improve because sometimes we have uh, probably mistakes with some type of pronunciation with some words. And the only way for us as teachers to correct you is you participating, right? If you do not participate, we cannot actually probably correct you and you cannot improve. Um, so, but overall, I will say that you participate a lot Right, I really like that you participate and that you are focused whenever we are in the class. That is something good. You have been really responsible through these uh, weeks, right? So thank you very much for that. Do not lose the motivation, all right? Keep learning the language. Yeah, if you have questions, ask, yeah. You can ask the questions to the WhatsApp group or you can send a WhatsApp to me. Yeah, I'm going to answer uh, your, your questions, right? So then basically I will say that that, right, is, is my feedback for you. Keep participating and I want you to participate even more. Now, I have one observation whenever you um, said that you started from the basic module, okay? So it's not basic, it's going to be basic, 
Okay, basic. Okay, that's pretty much. I don't know if you have any question, Nelly, something that you would like to ask me right now? No. <laughs> Now, okay, perfect. So we are going to stop right here the feedback, all right, just because of the time. But thank you very much for being responsible. Okay, I'll see you back tomorrow, Nelly. Take care. Good night. All right. Good night. Thank you.